everyone welcome back to another video in this video we are going to discuss about how to handle a bunch of products which belongs to different categories in Odoo 17 sales module we know that we might receive an order for different product so what if you receive an order for different items which belongs to different section is it possible to manage that in your ERP in Odo 17 sales module, we can manage different items within a single quotation by adding the sections, note and catalog. So we'll brief that, which means just consider an, an example that Cybrosis has given an order for grocery as well as for furnitures. So we know these items belongs to different categories. So you can just sectionize grocery and furnitures to different sections and you can also give notes in order to identify these uh, sections and we have a new feature in order 17 which is the product catalog where you can choose multiple items in a single click and you can add multiple items into the quotation so let's see how can we manage the section notes and catalog in Odo 17 sales module here we have received an order from the customer side roses for multiple items such as coca-cola burger conference chair and all so how would we categorize this in Odoo or how could we sectionize this in Odoo in a simple way we can sectionize this in Odoo sales module so let's move on to the sales module and let's create a quotation from the scratch for that you can just click on new button and you can add the customer site roses and here you can see that we have an option to add the section and note as well as you can just add the items in a single click like you can just manage with a bulk of items in a single click which is one of the new feature in Odoo so here I'm going to add a section of grocery and here you can add uh, the section and here uh, under the grocery we'll have footsteps so here you can just provide the note which is foodstuff and if you want to add multiple items from the catalog you can just get that so search for the items so click on add so that you can just add the multiple items in a single click now let's search for burger here we have different burger i'm going to add different burger okay so once you add all the items you can see that under the order lines now we have just received an order for conference chair that comes under the furniture so here you can just add another section so let me add the section that comes under furniture but we need to include everything under a single quotation now let's add a note um this is just offers stuff okay now if you want to add uh, a single item you can just click on add a product that would let you to add a single item so which is conference chair here you can choose a variant so i'll be choosing conference chair steel and yeah let me confirm the order and here you can see uh, now different items comes under a single quotation and you can see we have just sectionized uh, the different categories and we have just given the note uh, to know under which category does that belongs to I mean each items belongs to and this also shows uh, the price unit price um, the tax that is included as uh, the customer is making an order for a bit larger quantity the supplier thought of giving a discount for the buyer so he will be giving a global discount of five percentage so as we are giving a global discount the discount will be applied for the total item and here you can see that uh, a discount is applied now let's confirm the order and we are going to deliver the item to the customer side process so that you can just validate the process and under the valuation you can see uh, the transfer of the items and you can also get the detailed operations over here with the number of quantity and uh, the product and the pick from um, warehouse at all and afterwards let's create an invoice 
So here we're going to create a regular invoice and we will be requesting uh, yeah, the payment from the customer side. So for that, we will, we will be choosing the journal as bank and here you can see the total amount at all. Now let's create the payment. So after reconciliation, the payment will be moving to the bank. Order 17 always makes your workflow easier and robust. So let's have a sneak peek into the sections, notes and catalog in Order 17. So hope this concept is clear for you. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.